lucky me, I actually come back from a week and a bit's holiday with the kids, and uh, both my daughters have uh, got sleepovers and things. One's going away, and the other one's got a couple of people coming. So basically, the missus said, you might as well go fishing. So what was I supposed to do? Pack the car and head off. I'm going to keep everything organised and all ready to go. Now, I haven't fished this swim for a long time. I think the last time I fished this swim, I got well and truly mozzied out. So, I've got my uh, brolly with me uh, panels on it. I can zip myself down and stop myself getting mozzied. I've tucked myself away. Lovely little corner there, back from the swim. I just have to be able to cast out of here quite well. There's a little bit of a, of a hanging tree problem. But you can get the leads out. You might wonder why the rods are slightly angled to the right, is because left looks very appetising out there. But most of that is about a foot deep. That's where they hang out, the big fish what hang out off that island, the trees. It's basically way out of my range. Also way out of anyone's range to be perfectly honest with you. So what I've done is you've got a uh, a little island out there to the right they used to have a nice little tree on it that's been chopped down and hopefully it'll turn into a nice little bush in the future to the left of that and a good fair few turns out there's three and a half four foot of water and like a channel along those reeds and they do love that route those reeds and they go up and down there i did do a little bit of leading around when i got here and um I can break I might stick some single hook baits out in tomorrow. You get a foot, foot and a half out there. There's a lot of fish roll around there, play around out in those bars. Well, I want to say bar, it's more like a joint plateau area. There's nothing much either side of it, I can't get over it. So, that's the best I can do. Uh, the other rod is actually placed not far out, it's sort of halfway, well, no third of the way out between here and the island it's a nice trough it drops down to three and a bit foot so I've got it in there um, I've got it on this this edge at the moment and then maybe if I don't get anything from that I'll move it to tomorrow's edge tomorrow evening or something like that um, yeah I'm just gonna move things around a bit I haven't got a great deal of bait out hopefully I can uh, pick a couple of fish, it's the decent fish I need and I must admit why I stayed in here was there was a nice fish wallowing out there that really couldn't get any, any anything airborne out of the water so it's got to be worth hanging around in this area put a bit of smoking jack out this weekend and um, yeah we'll take it from there realistically so we get on anyway, I'll give you an update tomorrow morning so that I'm all uh, all set up nicely which is quite good or oh, one thing I forgot about the beauty of this swim there's my car <laughs> the unhooking mat and everything's all set to go bucket of water waist sling both nets are uh, in the water you get the odd line on the right hand rod which I may get because it's a very shallow area and they cut around this corner sometimes I'll just have to see where we go on that one anyway I'll leave you that pleasant view and uh, catch up with you tomorrow morning Well, welcome to the morning update. Um, not a touch, nothing. Not a bleep, not a sound. I heard a few carp crashing around in the night. Uh, I've got a friend a couple of swims down, so I'd be interested to hear what he says on his way by when he packs up. I'm really not sure whether to sort of move, stay. Don't know really. Not really sure. As I said I've never, I haven't really fished this end, so it's all a bit new to me. So I might just have to stick it out and do a bit of sort of studying and understanding what the fish actually do. A bit more watching, you know, see the sort of movement of the fish and the patterns that they do. So it might be worth just sticking it out just for that, really. Just gain a little bit of information. 
a few people around the lake in other swims fishing is quite hard at the moment this is an area that hasn't seen much pressure so yeah a little bit of thought into it over the next hour or two and uh, see where we go anyway that's the only update so far it's quite pleasant out there a nice view and uh, yeah I'll uh, let you know where we go how we get on well I've decided it's time to uh, head home I think there seems to be much doing out here so I'm gonna uh, go home get some brownie points for the wife and then come back maybe tomorrow night or maybe the night after I don't know yet wind direction looks good it's just the fish are not getting anywhere near me and I cannot go anywhere near the fish really I've had a look round and the only areas I've moved to actually got people in so I'll sit it out here in the hope of catching something or go away and come back another day after a lot of thought I think the go away and come back another day tactics are going to be much more uh, productive than just sitting here and possibly wasting another night when I could actually get out in better conditions hopefully around during the week so I shall catch up with you soon I'm back out again and uh, yeah hopefully a bit more productive anyway good luck if you're out there and I'll catch up with you soon <laughs>